All right, let's try right here. Okay. Okay. So I think this might be a good spot for it because... Yeah, that looks perfect. Now you got a place to put the tools underneath, but I think we need to organize something on the wall here. I think so too. All right, so why don't we put a, like uh, a pegboard on here? Perfect. All right, let's go get some more stuff. Okay. I have a piece of pegboard because we want to keep it off of the wall so the hooks will go in it. I picked up some one by two pieces of wood. We'll cut those fillers first and then put the frame on the pegboard before we mount it to the wall. All right, so now we want to attach these to the pegboard. Okay. And then we'll put the whole thing on the wall as a unit. I'm going to just tip it up like that, get it out of the way. Okay. And we'll take this glue right here. And we'll just put this on here. Okay. Put some. Just like that. All right, so now you see where the dots are that's on the wood? Yes. I want you to take that accelerant, but don't spray any on the glue. Okay. Okay, so now this is the part we have to work real fast. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over. We wanna make sure that it's even on the edge and even on the end. So hold your thumb down there and make it even. All right, just push down on it. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I think that was 15 because I talked too much before we started counting, but okay. that's all right. Better to be more than less, right? Okay. All right, let's see how we do it here. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna hold it about where we think we want it. That looks perfect. Okay, so why don't you drill a hole in the middle somewhere. Okay. Right through that, yep. Okay, good. Now we'll grab a screw. Okay. Stand back this way a little bit to line yourself up. There you go. If you want, you can do the low ones and I'll do the high ones. How's okay. that? I got some tools here. Now these are the tools that every homeowner when they're starting their own workshop should have. This okay. is a suggestion of some of the things. Okay. But I will say one of the things that I didn't bring for you is because I know you have some tools that I didn't bring a hammer. Okay. <laughs> All right? Yes, I do have so, a hammer. Okay, good. All right, so when we were building the workbench, we used a drill to drill some holes. Okay. And we used the impact driver to drive the screws. So now you have your own. Okay. I gave you some screws, an assortment of drill bits for drilling in the wood to make different size holes. Okay. Some different grit sandpaper from coarse to fine, so when you're building that next project, you can sand it off when it's rough and make it nice and smooth when you finish it. Perfect. A palm sander, a, a handsaw that you've already used, and yes. practice, practice, practice. Okay. okay. Remember this tool right here? This is a pocket screw tool. And yes, we use I those. do remember that. Yeah, and what did we build with that? We build the dog dish stand. Sorry. Exactly, and you were great with that. I got an, a work apron. I like to wear my work apron when I'm in my shop. All right, dust mask. You don't want to breathe in all that dust. Eye protection, ear protection. I gave you some yes. hangers to mount on the pegboard so we can figure out how we're going to get some of this stuff mounted on the wall so you can Perfect. see where it is. All right, and some clamps. I love using clamps in all different kinds. This one right here, we can clamp things to the side of the table. All right, different sizes and stuff like that. They're great. And then a C clamp is very important to have if you want to clamp two pieces of wood together. Okay. But also, again, to the side of the table. Yes. My suggestion is when you're clamping two pieces of wood together, I always put a little block of wood under there so you don't damage it. Okay. All right, scrap piece of wood. And this clamp right here is great for using the holes that we drilled in the table. You drop okay. it in there like that. You put your piece of material that you want to clamp down on there. We'll clamp the clamp to the table. You just push down on it, and then you have to pull back on that, and that locks it into place. Okay, perfect. Okay? All right, now these, these clamps over here is a clamp that I use a lot, a lot of times. And these are good for the holes, again, for the holes that we did. 
So okay. let's go we'll drop it in this hole. We'll put a stop in this hole over here. Okay. Now we can screw them down from underneath, but lots of times I just leave them the way they are. And let's say you want to take two pieces of wood like this, and put them together, okay. slide this over, and with a little bit of pressure here, and pull that like that, it'll clamp it together. So you okay, can sand perfect. it, plane it, do whatever you want. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much for all of these tools. Oh, it's my pleasure because I know you're going to use them because you, like I, like to woodwork. Yeah. All right, so what do you say we get some hooks on the wall and hang these tools? Perfect. All right. I have one more thing for you. So what I did is I actually made you a little gift. Camilla, it was really fun to do another project with you. The way you understand the process of woodworking is amazing. You have a uh, talent and I hope you continue building and making things. Always challenge yourself, it only makes you better. Hope you enjoy this. My best, Tom Silva. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> All, right. All right. I said I wasn't gonna make it easy. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting close, almost there. All right. Now I can build some of these. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.